The solar array wing we tested here today was the qualification model wing provided by Airbus Defense and Space Netherlands. For this test, we just have one functional wing and it's the qualification model wing that went through um, more full qualification testing in Europe. And so this is the only functional wing we have on this test article. All the others are represented with mass simulators. When all four solar array wings are deployed uh, tip to tip, they're 64 feet long and all four wings together generate around 11 kilowatts of power. So this test, there were several things that we looked at. This was the first time we used those uh, thermal knives to start the deployment sequence and that allowed, uh, cut some tethers that then allowed the solar array to deploy. Um, we wanted to test the locking mechanisms to ensure that it locked properly in, in space because uh, we, anything that could possibly go wrong we wanted to see test down here so that we're, we can ensure a, you know, a successful flight and deployment. After the test today, we're going to restow the solar array wing, rotate the test article to the vertical, and then we're going to install a crew module mass simulator and the spacecraft adapter jettisonable fairings. And that will complete the uh, test article configuration for the next test, which is uh, an acoustic test. After we go through all the tests that we're going to do here, we're going to do some acoustic tests to simulate the launch environment, vibration tests, and some pyro tests. And at the conclusion of those, we'll do another solar array test and we'll determine whether or not it, it survived that environment.